more importantly, more importantly, Michael's watering hole in New York City, you are gonna get your faces rocked off. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Rising Star 2. I rested overnight, and our manager, Simon, who is really penge, is already on the phone to us with a new gig. What have you got? Going to Providence, Rhode Island. Nine songs. We're going to make 22 bucks. I'm going to tell you right now, we cannot even drive to Providence for 22 bucks. That's way more in cash than that. But we will definitely book that gig. Good job, Simon. Oh, you've got another one. Portland, Maine, where we're going to make 18 bucks. You know what? It's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. We'll take it. Yeah, you keep booking those gigs, man. They're not spectacular gigs, but they are gigs nonetheless. Okay, where does that... Uh, let's, let's take a look at the calendar here. Where does that put us? So, wow, we're going to have a busy couple of weeks here. Connecticut to New Hampshire, and then Rhode Island to Maine. Holy moly, that is a lot going on there. Okay, we will... um try to manage that somehow and then we got to go to new york city this weekend and then get back to boston to do a gig at lauren's bar we got a week to prep for all of this i think the oh oh i'm sorry uh we haven't pointed out um the multiple battle of the bands plaques because we won another one yet another battle of the bands we're so popular at that bar that we can't do another battle of the bands they're they're just they're too impressed with us i think the best thing i could do is a little bit of side gig see a band kind of thing but before i do that i wanted to kind of mess with our our song list a little bit yeah some of these older ones which are just basically terrible quality i'm gonna archive some of these i'm just gonna kind of put them away i hate pants brad's first song before he got into prog rock mileage deductible rock ashen it's a song about tax deductions it's it's really not that thrilling unless you're an accountant. We'll keep We Almost Didn't Suck, obviously. I think I will lose Your Banner is Weak, or at least throw it in the archive. We're obviously keeping Rock Your Face Off, because we rock people's faces off. I don't care that it's quality four. It's going on an album at some point. The rest of this can kind of hang out for a little bit, although we should practice Blew My Money on a Biker Jacket. Where we're getting into these longer songs, we should probably make sure we've got enough to take to a set. Now, what do we need? We could kind of use some better slow quality songs, and it wouldn't hurt us to have some better medium quality songs. I mean, we've got closer to the spleen, which is highest quality song we've got. Shut up, Brad. Stop looking so smug. And we've got that guy in CT, because we've got one fan in Connecticut. We're coming back, dude. Coming back to Connecticut. Got that one fan in Connecticut. So, slow songs. That's what I'd like to get. And maybe one insanely high quality, hard rock, fast song. All right, let's see if we can boost up our inspiration and our money at the same time by doing a quick week of side gigs and then see a band if there's somebody playing. Nobody to see tonight, so let's just get some practice done. Let's do that. Guy in CT, and what else did we need? Yeah, blew my money on a biker jacket, and sure, we'll put Huckleberry Finn in there, Brad. Why not? Why not? So let's just practice that for the night and then we do have some bands we can see tomorrow how did we do on all of that yeah i really want to get that guy in ct up i want to take that out on the road this weekend to do new york new york city's gotta hear about connecticut that's kind of how geography works so back at it another side job see a gig tonight get that inspiration up keep practicing I'm over here at Coleman's Discount Music because I want to start kidding us out for the potential of busking, where we can just sort of go in a park and play. Everyone in the comments saying I should really get into that. So, um, Ashton, have Grandpa's bass. It's terrible. We'll look at repairing it. But yeah, I'm going to um, going to let you buy that. Now, Brad, I believe you get bongos. Yeah, Brad and bongos is not really a sentence I wanted to put together, but um, go ahead and, and have that, Brad. Rebecca, what do, you, what do you get for busking these days? I'm sure just a regular old acoustic guitar would probably do you just fine. Yep, here's Grandpa's guitar. Now, do I get anything? I don't think I do. I, I don't bring, like, a piano to the, the park or anything, no. No, and Alicia, I don't think you need much of anything at all. You can just sing. You, you kind of carry your instrument with you. Okay, let's, um, just for giggles, how much would it be to repair everything? Twenty-four forty-five. Uh, you know what? We've got a lot of gigs coming up. 
So go ahead and do that. I know that was a huge amount of money when we can repair our own equipment, but sometimes we make our equipment worse, and that's no good. Okay, who is playing tonight? I just did a side gig, so who's playing? Uh, juicy Polishes, Selfish Weather, and Young Growths. Yeah, sure, we'll spend a few bucks for that. Well, I was going to take a side job, but we're here, and the park is mowed, which is the requirement for busking. I just sort of pulled the van up on the lawn here. What, uh, what happens here? Singers, indeed, do not need any special equipment. I don't get to chip in, apparently. I feel I could bring a piano along, but that's probably a big production. Okay, and we need at least one musician. We've got three who are ready to go. Okay, what happens if we start busking? Oh, it's just basically Brad on the bongos. And the way you're holding those bongos, Brad, you really are emphasizing the uh, mostly naked thing. That looked really, really awkward. Oh, and it got our playing skill up, too. Yeah, people in the comments had mentioned that it would boost up our playing skill. That's all good stuff. Okay, well, that's the job for today, I think. I don't think I can do two jobs in one day. So who's playing tonight that we could go and see? Uh, let's see what's going on. Knit for Potato. I think we performed with them. Sure, we'll go do that. I'm telling you, someday we're going to perform here. Someday sooner than people think, I bet. We are going to be right up there, and our banner is going to be way better than Knit for Potatoes. Not a single skull, not a single kitty. I don't know if you're Freemasons or not. It's Oh, you got good hair, though. Oh, well, like you. Yeah, you're in. Now, after all of that, a longish week of doing side gigs and then seeing bands, where are we at on inspiration? 85 for me, Alicia 85, Ashen's maxed out because he leveled up recently, 94 on Brad, and 100 on Rebecca. I think, oh, and Rebecca's just about to level up too. I should totally use Rebecca's ins inspiration because she's going to level up and then max out again. How, are, how far is Brad away? Everyone's getting ready to level up. Well, all right, not, not so much you, Alicia. Not so much me. I leveled up recently. Yeah, we should use up this inspiration because Brad and Rebecca are going to be max inspiration again when they level up. All right, guys, what have I got in the bank and what can you contribute to this? I'm already seeing a 14 rhythm from Brad that will work with his 11 lyrics down here. Oh, yeah, there's some good stuff in here. There's some very good stuff. Take out this four and put in this 11. We'll just hold on to that for later. What else have you got kicking around in the tank, guys? You've got a lyrics of 11 here. I've got a lyrics of 11 here. I'll match you there, but I will take that lyrics of 11. Now, I need... Oh, Brad's coming in with an eight melody. If I do this, does this leave me a riff? One. Just one. Okay. That's pretty good. However... Just for argument's sake, if I took... I know I have ten banked ideas. Um, fine, put this three away then. I don't need a three. Uh, bring that in here. And then take this out. All right, fine. I'll move some other things. Uh, take that four out of there, even though that was mine. I liked that one. One of my favorite melodies. So what did I just see that was going to work over here? This riff will work. Does that leave me a melody I can work with? Just a one. Again, so... It's all going to kind of work out to around the same number, but this is Alicia's melody. We can work with that. That's fine. Definitely nothing down here that'll do it. No. Anything else I want to bank? I'm kind of running out of bank spots here. Not really. I think I'll keep what I've got. Yeah, I think I'll keep what I've got there. So I could put in, let me see, one more time here. I could take this out, put this in, and sorry, take this out. All right, fine. Put it back the way it was. It was okay. Well, given that Brad contributed the most to this, and he pretty much looked like he was completely naked while he was out in the park, this is another one of Brad's. It's a little more high energy, not one of his prog rock things called Blistering Buck Naked Busker, which uh, just kind of rolls off the tongue there. It's going to be a high energy song. Song quality 33. That's not bad. I will absolutely take that. Let's rock that out. We get a little bit of XP for the songwriters. And where are we at? Okay, we've got a day. We've got a day. I should... Where are we at with um, our song list here? Uh, that guy in CT, 80 out of 100. I want to get that to 100. I want to definitely get that to 100. So I'm going to go out, 
get some gas money put together for the ride to New York City, and then do we... We don't have to leave tonight, right? We could leave tomorrow. I mean, Boston to New York City is, I don't know, about five hours, give or take, depending on how the traffic's going. I mean, you're right down the pike. That's a straight line. Anyway, probably you don't need to know how to get to Boston from New York City or vice versa. Anyway, I'm going to go make some money. Yeah, that quick side job just bumped Rebecca up to a level up. So you'll be max inspiration now. But more importantly, get some points we can put in there. Let's put it all into stage presence. Dump it all in there. Yeah, just dump everything in there. So 22, 36 with your boosts. Ah, uh, Brad, you've got to be right behind her. Yeah, 93% on you. How's everyone else? Um, Ashton just leveled up. Yeah, we're, we're going to take a while. Okay, one night of practice. We're just going to do... I know we have a brand new song, guys, but we're just going to do that guy in CT. I just want everything put into this song for one night, and then we got to get on the road to New York City. All right, team, off we go. We are heading to the Big Apple, as they say. New York City. Yes, I want to travel there. Kind of curious how big the map's going to be. Yeah, a little bigger map here for the Big Apple. I get that. New York City, a lot going on here. Wow, this is actually a huge map. This is a gigantic... Maybe we should move to New York City. We could do that. We could just sell our house and move to New York City. But more importantly... More importantly, Michael's watering hole in New York City, you are going to get your faces rocked off. And as much as I want to put in that guy in CT, Closer to the Spleen is a better quality song, and we've only got a six-song set list. So I don't want to mess with success. This list has done well for us in the past, so I'm just going to keep it as is, and we're going to rock New York City. Oh yeah, New York City... There is not a single face that is not rocked off in this bar. I haven't even played Rock Your Face Off 2021, and everybody's faces have been immediately rocked off. This is the most rocked off face count that the Ridiculous Decorative Daves have ever done. Extremely happy with our performance. Extremely happy. Blew away the crowd. Not a lot of shirts sold, though. It was a slow night at the merch counter. Yeah. Yeah, this set list... These songs in this order, this is definitely getting the job done. I like what I'm seeing here. My ankles, thank you. People love that song. All right, we guys, we got to shoot back home. Everybody just break down the set, pile everything into the van. We got another gig at Lauren's tomorrow. So we did indeed travel overnight. Oh, hi, Penge. What's up? You got more gigs for us? Oh, back to New York City again. Okay, yeah, sure. I'd like to get be getting paid more for this if you don't mind. But yeah, we'll definitely do that. Uh, you continue looking for gigs. Cool. Uh, we traveled overnight. I did notice it cost us 53 bucks to get from New York City to Boston. I'm going to say that actually sounds about right. That's about how much you'd spend in gas. And I don't know, maybe you stopped at a fast food place or something like that. But yeah, about 53 bucks. I could see that. All right, we just got to jam right into Lauren's bar. We got to get the job done here. Yeah, I will take another extremely happy with our performance. Blew away the crowd. Band had a good opportunity to hang out with the other bands. I'm assuming we got better rep with them, uh, with the other bands that came in a lot. I see a lot of other band members came to see us. Our relationship is up with them. We sold three shirts, 37 fans in attendance. That is not bad at all. Definitely a good weekend for the Ridiculous Decorative Daves. And no surprise, Brad leveled up from all of that. You were pretty much on the cusp anyway. I I am actually... I'm going to put three into stage presence, Brad. I'm actually going to keep your songwriting ticking up. You are our best songwriter. You absolutely are. I, I know I dismiss you a lot, but you are the biggest contributor to these amazing sets that we've been doing. Okay, let's close the night with a little bit of practice here. Basically, just this one. Blistering Buck Naked Busker. Let's start to get this one down. Oh, Simon's on the phone again. What do you got, man? Oh, it's local. Okay, it's Boston. Right on. Yeah, no, we'll totally do that. We'll 100% do that. Uh, continue looking for local gigs. Yes, you absolutely do that. Thank you, Simon slash Penj. Um, you know what, Simon? Simon, can you come and talk to me for a sec? Because the local gigs thing is totally fine. I absolutely appreciate that. I'd like to see if we can branch out a little bit, maybe book a tour or find a recording contract. 
We don't really have anything recorded. We've got one song recorded, and it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. You know what? Next time, Simon slash Penge, next time, keep booking local gigs for now. I'm going to get through a few more of these. I want to build up the cash a little bit and our popularity, and I'd like to get some more songs recorded or any other songs recorded. So keep doing what you're doing, but we're going to talk again maybe next week, Penge. A couple of days later, and it's May 31st, which apparently is the anniversary of Operation Mind Crime by Queensryche being released. I was never so much a Queensryche person. I could really not any impact on my life, but I will have triple XP. Thank you very much. That's a big impact on my life. Let's make sure we go out and do a side job, because that'll be a nice little chunk of XP and some money. See what's kicking around the neighborhood here. I've been a little light on side jobs, because there hasn't been many going around. Yeah, not not so much here. Uh, Duke, we'll kind of check you out, see what you got going on. You are right around the corner, so that's fine. Let's just zip into here. Oh, oh you are right here. Hang on. Okay, stop, 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 stop the van. Uh, go into Duke's. What's your problem? Uh, you want us to landscape three parks before the end of the day Saturday. Uh, not for 400 bucks, man. No. I could landscape three parks and make more than 400 bucks. Admittedly, I wouldn't get the XP for it, but that's a bit tight. I, I can't I can't nail down my plans like that, man. I may go landscape a park, but it'll just be for me. I can't really tie the band down. We're on a bit of an upswing right now. Speaking of which, may as well grab some landscaping here. Well, at least we were able to catch reward at the theater here. That was a good little chunk of XP. Nice little 600 XP for everyone. Let's head home. Let's kind of see where we're at here. Because uh, we got a couple of gigs coming up. How are we doing on inspiration? 75 on me, and 70, 75 on everyone else. And obviously Brad and Rebecca are still maxed out. I might just kind of hold on to our inspiration. And maybe just get ready to write a really, really good song if we can find one. But I do want to keep practicing what we've got. So Blistering Buck Naked Busker, let's make sure we practice that tonight. Okay, not only is it Alicia's birthday and she got 500 bucks, but any experience today will be tripled too. Well, we are just having a heck of a time here. Alicia, let's go shopping. You know, I thought I might buy something for myself, but I, I just can't. I look amazing. There's nothing I can do with that to make it any better. Uh, Alicia, we may work with you a little bit. I'm getting, I think the medical gloves are getting old. I think they're just not you anymore. I don't hate those. I'm kind of doing the black fingerless things. But let's spend some of your $500 here. Eh, not so much with those. How about uh, green sweatbands? Yeah, okay. You're a little excessively bright from the waist up. How about uh, black and red? Oh, perfect. It matches your shirt and your pants. I have never coordinated an outfit that good in my life. We are totally buying that for 10 bucks. Ashton, come and talk to me. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. It, it's all basically fine. I'm kind of, I'm getting a little bit over the biker jacket. I'd like to try something else with you. Show me blue tank top. I mean, take the biker jacket off, first of all. Yeah, take... All right, you know what, Ashton? You're fine. You're fine. You're not even getting any new clothing. Um, Brad, you're lovely just as you are. I, I'm still not... I love the idea of the red heels. I'm just not sold on it. You know what? You're a drummer. You need armbands. You get, like, all sweaty and stuff. So, uh, yeah, you should have... Well, those aren't going to do anything for sweat, but they look awesome. So you're totally having those. And Rebecca, again, I can't do anything with this. This is perfection. This is absolute perfection. Apart from me, you could not possibly look better in this band. All right, a couple of quick shopping trips there. We've got gigs tomorrow night. Wow, we are booked. We are slammed for next month. And we're already maxed out on Blistering Buck Naked bus Busker, so... I don't know, just for tonight, throw in... We probably shouldn't have bothered. We probably shouldn't bother practicing it, but we'll practice it anyway. Bare minimum, we'll get some XP. I know we've got a gig. It's very... Very exciting. However, we do have time to squeeze in a quick side job if we can. Actually, instead of the side job, why don't we take our newly mowed lawn and go back to busking? I think that uh, might be something we do a little bit more often. Yes, I would love to do that. Thank you very much. Oh, Brad. Oh, Brad, 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 Brad. Well, the armbands look good anyway. 
All right, guys, we got to zip out to Connecticut real quick. It's not a long drive. Don't worry, Ashton, it's going to be fine. Let's just head off the map here. We've got a gig and then we've got a... I don't even remember where we're going next. It's a whirlwind around here. Uh, Hartford, right, next gig. Yes, I want to travel to Hartford. Hey, Jodies, we're back. Yeah, we're back. We're going to see our one fan that's out here and bought our shirt. We wrote a song about you, man. Um, hi. Yeah, we saw you last time. Awesome bar you've got here. Okay, what do we need to know? Is this a... No, this is a six-song set. Okay. In terms of our three hard rock ones at the beginning here, is there anything we should replace with Blistering Buck Naked Busker? So Smoke on the Dashboard, that's a 25. Yeah, I think we could take that off and put in this instead. So I want to put it, put, put, put that in. Thank you. Put that in and put that up there. Let's just change it up a little bit and see if that helps. All right, start this gig. Let's rock it out. Wow, the energy level is through the roof in this place. Not so much the interest, but the energy level was just skyrocketing there. Uh, Buck Naked Busker doing meh. Okay, this may, this may be one of those mediocre gigs. This may be sort of a job rather than an experience here. We're just going to get it done. No, actually, not bad at all. They were happy with our performance, and everyone was getting hammered. We sold four shirts. There's five people who have our shirts that don't live in Boston. Six, actually. I think somebody bought one in New York City. Excellent. Popularity up. That's what I'm looking for there. Happiness up. Inspiration obviously up. And we got to go right from here to New Hampshire. I don't think we should stop in Boston on the way. I think we should just keep going. Oh, we're just going to stay out on the road, except I'm driving the wrong way. Hey, this isn't my hometown. This is this is Hartford or wherever it is we are. I, I don't know how to get around these streets. I don't know how to get around Boston streets either. I just fake it. Okay, really long drive, guys. Really long drive. Oh, hi. Uh, Joy Harp, Combative Substance. We just, we just saw you last night in... Uh, that other city. I, I don't remember what it was. We You have a gig. What is it? It's in Hartford. Oh, it's Battle of the Bands, though. Battle of the Bands. Oh, heck yes. Heck yes. We are two for two with Battle of the Bands. Uh, that is a couple of weekends from now. Totally fine. Totally fine. We can work up something awesome between now and then. Now, I assume that I can do side jobs here, yeah? I can. It's largely the landscaping ones, but... Yeah, I can do side jobs in other towns. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to, but that, just to confirm that that's a thing that exists. Okay, um, yeah, I can barely drive the van. I am so tired from driving all of that way from Hartford or Providence, wherever wherever the heck we were. Let's do another show. Okay, hi, Gabriella's Watering Hole. I am about 83% confident we're in New Hampshire right now, so let's play a gig. We got nine songs on this, guys. Okay, nine songs, so we gotta flesh this out. Let's put in... Not good enough to manage, or... No, let's put in... No, not meh, we're terrible at playing that. Ooh, okay, we gotta get another good, slow song up and running. This is... Ooh, this is not going to be what I really want to do. Uh, take your Rock Your Face off right now, because we always close with that, guys. We don't open with that, we close with it. And let's put in... Smoke on the dashboard, we'll put that back in. So get that in there, and then... What, that guy in CT? Yeah, obviously we gotta put that in. So let's do... Let's just shift this around. No, take Smoke on the dashboard out. What do we got? Three, six, seven. Nope, put Smoke on the dashboard back in, but put it up here. So we're gonna go blistering opening with three high-energy songs. Slow it down, cool it out, rock it out, slow it down, cool it out, and then finish with naturally, you know, naturally, rock your face off 2021. How much as it kills me to admit it, Brad, Closer to the Spleen is a really, really good song. People definitely dig that. Smoke on the Dashboard holding it, though. Holding the energy level, holding the interest. Not good enough to manage. It's keeping up. People aren't hating it. All right, that guy in CT, how are we going to do here? Yeah, energy levels up. Everybody wants to hear about that guy in CT. And of course, walking people's faces off with Rock Your Face Off 2021. Another extremely happy with our performance. Uh, we hung out with some other bands. We sold some shirts. Three fans in attendance. No boost in popularity, but that's okay. Our inspiration is up. Everything is up. Okay, we got to drive back home. It's been a long weekend for the for the gang.
I can't even pull into our apartment without Penge being on the phone. Good job, though, man. That is basically what I've... Oh, God, back to New Hampshire. I just left New Hampshire, man. I'm the only one who knows how to drive. You know that, right? Brad can't drive. He's completely in his own world. He's listening to prog rock. He has 3D glasses on. He can't drive a car. Rebecca's too cool to drive. Ashton, I don't trust farther than I can spit out a rat. Alicia never actually learned to drive. It's a weird story. It's a weird story. I'll tell it to you someday. I am literally the only person who can drive here, and I'm doing all the driving. What do you want? Nine songs. Yeah, no, we'll totally be there, man. Good job. I, I really do appreciate it. Okay, okay. Very, very long weekend for the Ridiculous Decorative Daves. Very long weekend. I've got a level up I could nail here. Okay. Again, a couple into stage presence, three into stage presence, two into songwriting. I'm actually getting to be a songwriter. We're almost up to 50 on songwriting. Speaking of which, if I've leveled up, that's 100 inspiration. Alicia's 99, Ashton 88, Brad 100, obviously, and Rebecca 100. We're probably not going to get much better than this. Let's rock out another song. Wow, Brad may not drive the van, but he can kick up a rhythm. 25 on a rhythm, and we're just getting started. Doesn't leave me a lot of riffs to play with. Indeed, any at all. It'll just be a one. But what else can you show me around here, Brad? What else you got kicking around in the tank? A 12 on melody. That is nice. Will that work with anything else, though? That's kind of the kicker. Yeah, I still get a lyrics in there, and I know... Ah, uh, I'm out of riffs. Out of riffs for that. Really, nothing I can get in there. Maybe this is one of those ones where I don't actually need the riff. This could be one where we sacrifice that a little bit. I could get Brad's four on lyrics in here. That's a 41 song quality. That's going to be one of our highest quality songs, even if it doesn't have a riff. Yeah, I think I take the hit. I take the sacrifice. Okay, is there anything I want to bank in here? I will... Got a little bit of a broad mix down here. I kind of want to keep a little bit of every card. So, no. No, that's all looking good. And um, Ashton already... I know it's all Brad. It's all Brad's song. But Brad is basically writing it after listening to Ashton whine in the van the entire time back from New Hampshire. Ashton was whining in the back of the van to Brad. I wasn't listening because I'm the only one who can drive. So I was I was focused on driving and Rebecca was just in the back being incredibly cool about everything. Uh, but Ashton was whining. And we're going to take that whining and turn it into a nice low energy ballad called Why Can't I Drive? It's because I don't trust you, Ashton. I just don't trust you. I'm not going to let anyone with a Kiss star tattoo drive my van. It's not happening. So this is um, a song that really, we're all kind of sick of listening to Ashton Wine, but he does get a song out of it, and Brad wrote it for him. Why Can't I Drive? Let's finish writing that song. Thank you very much. And then when are we going to get a chance to play that? Well, a lot of stuff coming up. A lot of stuff coming up. Let's do, you know what? Let's just go to bed. It's been a very long weekend. Band meeting, everyone. This is going to be a real quick one. I am exhausted. I am. I have been driving and living off of gas station beef jerky all weekend. So um, your, your band leader here is going to take a nap. You guys do whatever it is you feel, but you better be ready because we have a very, very busy month coming up. We are all over the map. And I think if we're traveling anyway, we may as well talk to our manager about a real tour rather than just bouncing around how about we think about a real tour for the ridiculous decorative days i think that's possibly the next step so we'll pick up some more of rising star 2 next time hey if you enjoyed the video do please leave a like down below it does cheer me up no end when people do that and if you're new to the channel maybe just checking it out for the first time feel free to hit that subscribe button see more of this ridiculous nonsense until then i'm dave thank you as always for joining me in the wee hours and we'll see you next time. You know when those alarm company advertisements say somebody is the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds? It's these guys. It's the Powells. They are in fact the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds because um me. Pablo here is looking for a little um little uh little favor little financial favor from El Devo Magnifico. Citizens Tropico everything is under control. This is this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program. 